now we're going to put the midsection of the gantry together. This is the front of the gantry. I have it laying down. It's going to be facing in this direction. This will be the front. This is where the Y axis and rail supports will go. Now these pieces will go to make up the portion box here. Then you'll have these pieces that are, that are the midsections. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we've done the table, we've uh, assembled the corner piece of the table. Now we're going to put the bridge of the gantry together. And the bridge of the gantry consists of a the back piece, the main uh, structural front. This is the, the y-axis rail support. That's, that's going to be mounted right to the front of this. And you'll have these two pieces that are the top and bottom of the gantry. This piece we're going to be putting on last. We may not actually put this on until about the end of the assembly process for the whole machine. And focus on these. So we're going to have the y-axis rail support, the main structural front, the top and bottom of the gantry bridge, and all of the ribs that are put inside the gantry. And these have a bearing for the rod to go through along the entire gantry, the entire gantry bridge. One that will be situated in the middle, that will hold the, the motor. It has two sizes for a motor. So let's get started. Okay, before we start, we need to figure out the orientation of everything. And we'll first put the Y-axis rail support on top of the structural piece. And you'll want it oriented in a way that you have this slight curve in both pieces together. And also that all of these are counterboard and you have access to the, the screw head will be um, made flush. This would be the back of that board, so you don't want this to be facing up. And to keep the to keep this place on this gantry structure, we're gonna first put screws in here, uh, probably starting with this one and maybe on the other end. And then we'll attach this piece perpendicular to here. Okay, so we'll first start by putting a screw. This is a two-inch screw. The two-inch screws will be used in this for fastening the uh, this the y-axis rail support to the structural piece and then to the perpendicular piece. So just put in a two-inch screw. And you also notice that there's an oval. <coughs> There's a groove here made so there's adjustability. So you can adjust it back and forth if we need to. Uh, so you don't want to screw these in too tight so to lose the ability to adjust. So go ahead and we're gonna put these in. We'll put one on the other side and then we'll fasten perpendicular piece to it. You also want to make sure that this is oriented correctly. The holes that are, there'll be more holes on one side than the other and this one will go, this side, the one with the more holes will go against the, uh, the front and they'll line up pretty much in the middle of the entire assembly. Okay, to make it easier we, we put this on the edge of the table so we don't have to worry about this thing getting ruined by pressure. So we'll just put the screw in and cross down this way. One and a half inch screws will be needed for the bottom of this assembly, for this bottom piece. Again, only um, screw the screw in just a little bit um, as it catches the crust out because this can also be adjustable. Now that we've finished putting on the top and bottom piece, we can go ahead and start putting the ribs inside. So now we'll put in the ribs. The, the bearing side is going to go on the bottom, or actually the, the bottom of the gantry, which is actually the top, the way I have it turned in this, in this way. So we'll have the the rib piece here, you're going to have a screw, a one and a half inch screw here. And you also have a one and a half inch screw on the bottom. And a two inch screw coming in from the, uh, from the Y axis rail support to this position here. So I'm going to just go ahead and put the ribs in. 
I'll put these top screws in first. Now we're going to put on the rest of these ribs um, and we're going to face the bearing the same way I face the bearing here. It really doesn't matter which way you face it, but I'm going to face it in the direction of where the gantry is, uh, the way the bearing is going to be facing out with the gantry. So I'm going to be orienting it with uh, the bearing seat on this side. And we're just going to be putting three here and then the motor, the motor mount is going to go on um, in this area and we're going to skip one one of the ribs because the motor is going to need that space and then we'll put the remaining three but these remaining three will have the bearing seat in that direction and then we're going to put three on this side one two three of these holes corresponding with these holes and the bearing seat will be on the side closest to this of this gantry to correspond with the gantry the way the bearing is going to sit with the gantry. We've already put in these these screws. These are the two-inch screws. They fasten this piece, which is the top gantry support. And we put in these screws that fasten the bottom gantry support. And we've put in the the ribs, uh, at least one of the screws for the ribs. These holes match the rib locations as well. So we need to put in uh, two-inch screws into the ribs, uh, into the middle screw hole for the ribs, and fasten the ribs down. But all of these should be loosely fastened, should not be uh, tightened yet. Once, we're, once we get all the screws in, then we'll go in and, and um, tighten them all down. For the next holes, we'll need a one and a half inch screw and a quarter inch nut. We'll be putting the screw into next these locations, and this is really to keep the the y-axis rail stable. Screw this um, structure here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just insert the screws, and then after we've inserted the screws, we're going to put nuts on the back and tighten the nuts. But we're not going to tighten it all the way yet. Now if the holes don't look like they're aligned here, uh, that is because they're, they need to be adjusted up from these grooves that were uh, laid out on the back of this board. So all you have to do is push it up a little bit or just allow the screws to, to sort of auto-correct it or align itself. Um, we'll probably just move it up a little bit because we did not screw this all, these in all the way. So all we have to do is up, pull it up from these.
Som sagt, jeg skal have dem. Jeg Okay, the gantry has been flipped over, and now we can put in the screws for the top of the, uh, the gantry um, structure. And these screws will go into the ribs, so you'll need one and a half inch screws and cross valves for this. Now we're going to put the nuts on the other side of these screws that we put in earlier. We don't have any kind of wrench. Are we aware about the press? Okay, so we're now we're ready to tighten all of these uh, screws now. The reason why we didn't tighten them before is because the ribs uh, need to be uh, easily put into the um, into the structure, and it wouldn't have been very easy to do it with all of the screws tightened. So now that we have all the screws kind of loose and all the parts are together, we can start tightening all of the, all the screws. The first two things we need to tighten are is the bottom of these ribs and the top of the ribs. So we, we know that it's going to center or um, auto-adjust in these um, adjustable uh, holes here, these ovals. So once we tighten the, the, the bottom and we tighten the top, it'll squeeze together and then go into its proper place. And then we, we will tighten, the, um, tighten the, uh, the ribs against this side by tightening these screws. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that the the ribs have been tightened throughout the structure, the ribs have been tightened to the bottom support, the ribs have been tightened to the top support, and the ribs have been tightened to the middle section of the scantry. Now, these, it's really critical that these were loose because they're going to move a little bit once you tighten everything. Now, these can be, actually, if they were tight, you could loosen them a little bit, loosen, loosen all of them, just in case they were tight, and you might notice them in, um, by a fraction uh, move to reposition themselves. And then now these, once they're loosened, you want to re-tighten them. And you are also, these are the, the next ones to tighten, the ones on the bottom, and the ones on the very top. So the only screws that we have not tightened so far are these screws that have a nut on the back. And all this does is it uh, maintains the, a good um, structure to the, to the y-axis support rail. It just keeps this uh, well planted to this um, part of the machine. So next we're going to tighten these. And they have the nuts in the back. So we'll have to uh, hold on to the nut while we're tightening these screws here. Okay, so the next step would be to put on the, uh, the gantry sides and this part of the, of the uh, gantry will go over the gantry side to add stability so there won't be any flexing on side to side. And we're going to be putting this in this position it will match these three holes that are at the front here, and then you'll have two cross tail holes that will be you'll have um, screws going in into the cross tail holes from here. You'll notice the position of the bearing. The bearing seat needs to be on the outside. It is possible to put it on the inside, but it will be a lot, um, a lot more difficult to 
uh, to, do, to deal with any um, fixes if, if, if need be. So keep the bearing seat on the outside, and that's why all the bearing seats from the, uh, the ribs were in the same orientation as the, as the gantry side. So let's go ahead and um, use one, use two inch screws for these and cross towels. And on this one, we'll use one and a half inch screws and cross towels. Once completed with this one, you can do the same thing to the other side. So these screws have been inserted and fastened, and they're um, loosely fastened. So once we get this in, this um, tighten, and we set it on the uh, the um, the rails and fasten the the V grooves onto the rails, then these can naturally just locate it um, into their place, and then we can we can tighten them at that at that point. So next, we're going to be putting these screws in. This is a one and a half inch and crossed out. The final screw on this part is going to be a one and a half inch and a cross dial underneath.